हेलो एवरीबडी आई एम डॉक्टर केशव वलसे फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन दिस सेशन वी विल टॉक अबाउट फर्दर थिंग्स ऑफ बेसिक्स और इंट्रोडक्शन टू मैने मेड एज ए पार्ट टू दैट इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन विथ वॉट वी हैव डन इन अर्लियर वीडियो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू अंडरस्टैंड Uh, the basic management skills then comparison of management and organization as well as gross overview of the functions of management now these are the things which we have discussed in previous video just to have a quick recap a uh, traditional management has a certain limitations wherein uh, the focus of the management was to uh, achieve maximum profits was to satisfy stakeholders the investors and uh, by doing so they were looking to workers as machines and we have discussed the definition of coons last time also wherein uh, he focuses on uh, management as an art of getting things done wherein he has lots of comprehensive things put up together like people must work individually they must work in groups in formal groups and at uh, global level also and ultimately uh, management should uh, look into achieving these goals uh, by optimizing uh, the consumption of resources ultimately to have effective and efficient working and the results so this is quite well known definition given by coons coming to next point what are the basic skills required for the management by the management now there is a misconception in my view uh, like to be a manager you need not know technical aspects in my view that's not right say for example if you are in charge if you are looking to a manufacturing department wherein cnc machines are used automation levels are of high level there if you do not know the technical aspects what is cnc technology if you do not know cnc programming and all other things then probably in my view you won't be able to handle the people rightly so technically managers must be expert sound enough to tackle any issue that they may have to face and with that this happens to be the major aspect that managers must be very well knowing about technical aspects second skill is a human relation skill yes management is all about handling human beings all the time every individual is an institution by himself or herself and you need to tackle variety of people variety of personality and uh, that's why human handling skills human relation related skills again stands as a very very important aspect in management then conceptual skills yes you should be having your analytical skills diagnostic approach you must be able to have a right foresight think about the future what product modifications the market might be needing after some time after a few years these all things come under the conceptual skills that management has to have and uh, next one is the decision making skills management itself is basically a decision making process every now and then strategic decisions policy making even issues related to small things they have to take decisions all the time and hence decision making capabilities and the skills towards that is a very very important so these four are the major skills required in management at this point i expect you people to think about some examples of uh, each of these different skills uh, from any type of industry that you may think of now let us have comparison of management and uh, organization the meaning if we compare based on this management basically is an executive function and uh, it's primarily concerned with getting things done by the people by the employees and uh, organization if we look into it is putting together you know like 
uh, you have an organization structure then correlate all the different elements of your skeleton of the organization this organization structure uh, so that the expected work is being done the orders towards working are being followed properly if you compare based on the functions then uh, management has different functions like planning organizing staffing motivation direction coordination control forecasting and what not like i mean many more functions you can list in this organization happens to be one of the major functions of uh, management so that's how organization i repeat is uh, one of the major functions under management comparing them on the basis of a uh, nature then you can uh, have a simile with the human body a uh, human body if you take as a management then organization you can compare with the nervous system of that human body talking about different levels yes management can be thought of at uh, three different levels top management middle management and lower level management uh, there is nothing like this kind of levels of organization it's just a organization structure you have uh, that is followed by the management then scope wise if you see management uses organization whereas organization stands as a machinery towards execution of plans by the management this is a cross comparison of uh, these two things and uh, now coming to the functions of management or functions of managers here i have listed a uh, few functions but uh, you can have one can have uh, uh, many more functions it could be different set of functions and uh, the very first one to talk is a uh, planning is a major function every organization uh, maybe manufacturing or service organization they have to have certain plans say for example if we take uh, auto industry then uh, as an example i can tell you is a master production schedule this is a type of a plan at gross level at company level this mps in short called as master production schedule in short mps it is uh, nothing but different models of the products if we take auto then different models of the automobile versus you can have time period in months maybe january to december say for example every type of a model against all the months in what a quantity would you like to manufacture this is one very simple example of a plan and unless you have this plan company cannot run so planning is the foremost function of a management secondly organizing yes organization structure you need who will obey the orders of whom who will report to which person all this a very typical structure uh, like you have got ceo then maybe md vice president whatever you have the designations then managers general managers dgm whatever you call assistant general manager below that supervisors and workers and this and that i mean whatever you have so that organization structure has to be clearly defined so that then only the plan things can be got done through this particular structure and that is the organizing function again the major one next function is forecasting yes uh, it is uh, something wherein you refer the past data and uh, take decisions on uh, what do you need uh, in upcoming time period so it's judgmental aspect but yes it gives you some base to go ahead with the planning decision making we have discussed in earlier sessions also management is basically a decision making uh, strategic and policy related things they take the decisions that's a, again major function you have staffing yes how many people you need maybe fresh graduates at entry level or what type of managers you need ceo md whatever so doing something related to these thing their training and their appraisals and all those things that comes in staffing leading naturally the leadership decides the existence of the organization you take any organization and see their leaders that will speak out their standing motivation is again one major function every person has got multiplicity of aspects different traits 
different dimensions different roles to be played and in that sometimes uh, management people are supposed to motivate their employees towards being positive and contributing towards the intended work next communication yeah nowadays uh, it's a digital world so communications have been very fast others earlier in the industry job card or material requisition note so many documents were uh, there as a matter of uh, regular communication and uh, controlling yes without controlling nothing goes right so whatever is being planned is it going as per the plan if not what is the violation why what is the reason of violation and remedial action on that so that is going to controlling as one of the major functions of the management now here i am recommending these five books for uh, reference otherwise you can have many more things available on the internet also thank you everybody